Yes, guys, and welcome back, guys, to a brand new video, guys, on my channel, guys. And yes, guys, I'm going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played, Man City, guys, in the FA Cup final, guys. And yes, it was disappointing, but kick off this video, guys. A few things from me. You'll be asking me, obviously, Brett, you've uploaded one video on your channel. What's been going on over the last couple of weeks? Why have you not uploaded your videos after the season finished? That was due to the fact that I decided to take a, a bit of a mini break off YouTube for a few days. And then during that mini break, I then got ill for a couple of weeks but i'm back now i apologize for not doing any uploads or anything like that so i apologize for that I'm back now on the youtube grind obviously there's a couple of more videos yet to come out on my channel beware of those videos that are going to come out as well but anyway guys let's get straight to this video guys so obviously we made three changes for last game against brighton and hove albion at the fa cup semi-final so we started with de gea wambasaka varan lindelof shaw Casemiro, fred Fernandez, ericsson sancho and rashford get into the other reaction now we didn't turn up disappointing end to the season which it is to be honest it was men v boys we didn't do enough to win we were not at the races we fell short not our day it's not good enough it's devastated it's a disappointing annoying and frustrating we weren't at our very best but still playing a good game we will be back next season dream stop for man city one nil city in 13 seconds united not concentrating and focusing city have too much time and space on the ball just need to stay calm regain possession and settle into the game united giving the ball away too easily united did okay after we conceded city having more possession city dominated the game city making runs in from behind city getting in between the lines united having possession but just nothing on target united have had some okay passages of play good link up play good energy united win a penalty bruno fernandez scores a penalty for 1-1 city control of the game it's competitive end-to-end -end. united have defended well united just need to stay concentrated and focused united started with a bit more belief in the second half city having more possession united gave away a silly free kick city score for 2-1 gundaman yet again city controlling the game the midfield getting split open they hard made a change 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 in tactics rashford big chance city putting the pressure on united getting back into the game good actually had a big chance united had had more possession in the last sort of 10 15 minutes united put the pressure on united kept going united kept playing it sideways and backwards city were really working hard to keep hold of the lead but Tom and I had a big chance right at the end but we didn't take it we had our opportunities to get the equaliser we didn't look like scoring game management and decision making was vital some okay individual performances first half was okay second half was disappointing overall not good enough performance anyway guys what did I make of the performance I thought it was a bit of a uh, a disappointed and not good enough performance by Manchester United. I don't think it was particularly that bad, to be honest. I simply just don't think we turned up. I think it was a disappointing end to the season. Uh, obviously, I said, in my, I said in the video to the leader of this game, I said, obviously, for City to probably may do the treble, they would have to get through United, and they got through United. Obviously, City have now done the treble as well, so which is not nice to see. Uh, but uh, obviously, well done to City. They won, they won the game. They uh, obviously won the FA Cup, so brilliant. They did a brilliant job. But United should have won, to be honest. Uh, but um, so I think it's a bit of a tough one to take as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, we got our pants pulled down. Uh, we were not good enough on the day. We fell short. Wasn't good enough. Uh, disappointed end of the season. I think it was a bit of a... I don't think it was a disappointing performance. I just don't think we did enough to win. We're, I think in, in particularly in the second half, we didn't look like scoring. So um, uh, I think there's a few things that you know we've got to definitely improve on for next season. Uh, and you could clearly could see that in this game as well. So... Yeah, not good enough, to be honest. It was blue versus red. Uh, blue came up on top. Uh, first time a Manchester derby in an FA Cup final. But uh, it's a shame, to be honest. Uh, after such a uh, a decent season for Manchester United, just a disappointing end to the season. But it is what it is. It's not good enough on United's behalf. Uh, I'm not angry. I think it's just more disappointed, to be honest. Uh, I think it's devastating. Uh, it wasn't our day. Uh, we fell short. Uh, we were not at the races for the whole 90 minutes. And, uh, we didn't do enough to win. And I thought in times in that game, as the game went on, you could see it was Man V Boys. And uh, yeah, uh, just 
not good enough, disappointed, annoyed, and frustrated. And uh, we should have done better as a as a collective. Uh, and um, yeah, but we were not at our very best. And uh, we still put on a good game. I thought it was a competitive game. It was end to end. The game was cagey at times. And uh, but we have to take it and we have to move on. And we'll be, we'll definitely be be back for next season. But obviously, get into the game now. First half kicked off, obviously uh, Gundogan kicks off the game, takes it back to the goalkeeper, City already went long, uh, and obviously, you know, United, were, I think it was good, I think United were just out of position, to be honest, not concentrated and focusing, that long ball goes in, and, uh, no one's switched on at the back, to be honest, and straight away they make it 1-0. Uh, that's shit, to be honest, because, you know, no one didn't really show that, sort of that desire didn't really show that no one wasn't really switched on at the back uh, straight away they caught us out with a long ball uh, they won that uh, they won the second ball and then uh, no one closed down Gundogan no one went with the runners and uh, typical of Manchester United but yeah first goal was uh, no excuses for we should never have conceded like that in the opening 13 seconds uh, to be honest they didn't even get past 20 seconds to be honest so stupid to concede in the opening 13 seconds and we should, that should never have happened uh, it's got to be avoid, avoidable to be honest and uh, you can't let things like that happen in a final like that so you always got to stay switched on at all times. Even Inter Milan gave them gave them a better game than us. To be honest, I thought at the uh, Champions League final. So, uh, and I, I think particularly Man City didn't play that great. I don't even think they were that great either. I think they just got lucky with two goals that no one picked up the runner and uh, no one didn't show that desire to close down. And uh, that's what sort of lacked in those two goals as well that we gave away. So. Uh, I thought as they were, they obviously then scored. Uh, United really need to just, you know, sort of, you know, refocus, get the get back into organisation, uh, settle into the game, stay calm, regain possession. But I thought we just let gave City too much time and space on the ball in the opening ten minutes or so. Uh, but then uh, uh, when they sort of conceded, United did okay to get back into the game. Uh, I think we were giving the ball away too easily to Man City. We were getting a bit, a little bit sloppy at times, but we did okay once we conceded that goal. We sort of grew back into the game a little bit, but I still thought City had more possession than us. Uh, they dominated the whole game, to be honest. Uh, uh, you know, they were making more runs in front behind and they were getting more between the lines, City. Uh, but then United, uh, when we had possession, we were just getting nothing on target. I think there were some good passages of play at times, okay. Some okay ones at times. I think there was some good link up play, some good chemistry, uh, good energy as well. Uh, forcing the issue a little bit as well. Uh, but I still think we, uh, offensively we were not that great. I don't think we were that, uh, I think we sort of maybe lacked ideas at times. City did well to win the ball back. City works really hard as well in the game. So, but then United sort of grew a bit of a bit of confidence, a bit of momentum when we had possession, and then obviously that was when when we build that confidence. You know, uh, Grealish is hat. Uh, it was a handball by Grealish. Uh, should never his arm should never be up there anyway. So the right call, the right decision to give that penalty. Uh, we got back into the game. Bruno scores a vital, crucial penalty to get us back into the game for one one. Uh, then I was sort of a little bit more a little bit more confident, a little bit more optimistic that we could actually go on and win this game. Uh, but then I thought City controlled the game. It was competitive. Uh, I thought it was cagey at times. I thought it was end-to-end. -end. You got to see a lot of end-to-end -end action. But I thought United sort of defended well at times, considering that we gave away two poor goals as well. Uh, but I thought we defended well. We had to fend off Haaland as well. I thought we defended really well against Haaland as well in the first half, but I thought the first half was okay. I don't think it was particularly that great. Second half, I think United, you know, had to stay concentrated and focused at all times. Uh, I think 
you know, United started with a little bit more belief about ourselves, got the front foot, uh, brought, brought a bit more energy and a bit more enthusiasm in the opening sort of couple of minutes of the game. But and then I think, you know, City got back to having more possession than us. Uh, United gave away a silly free kick in a silly, stupid position. Uh, yet again, Gundogan just... Uh, no one marking Gundogan yet again. He's on the edge of the box and takes the hit. And uh, lucky again to make it 2-1. And then I think it was just going to be hard for Manchester United to <clears throat> get back into the game once they scored it to make it 2-1. Uh, and then it was just, uh, and then we had to make, and then we had to try and score a, a goal from open play. Then, and then I think you could see as the half went on, oh, United got frustrated, uh, and then obviously the frustration grew in uh, as well in the game. But then I thought there was times where the midfield was getting split open at times too easily, uh, and then that was when Ten Hag had to make a change in midfield. Ericsson went off, Ganacho went on. Uh, and then a change of tactics, obviously, uh, as well. So then he obviously went to his uh, trusted, uh, back to his trusted 4 2 3 1 with Bruno coming back into more of the uh, right, uh, behind the uh, the uh, striker, and with uh, Casemiro and Fred in the midfield. And then obviously, then uh, Rashford, I thought you then United, when we had possession, I thought we did well at times. Rashford had a big chance, you know. But I did sort of think City did well to put the pressure back on at times when they needed to. Uh, United were, get, were sort of started to grow back into the game. Uh, Ganacho had a big chance as well. Uh, United had more possession in sort of the last sort of 10 15 minutes. I thought you could see that Guardiola was really panicking. He was really on, the, on his edge of his, uh, he was really on the edge of his seat, and he really didn't want obviously us to equalise. And uh, it was when sort of City would go through a phase of, you know, they couldn't get possession back, they couldn't win that possession back. But I thought it was good organisation for United. United put the pressure back on really well. We kept going, we had the chances. Uh, but then there was times where we were just playing it too safe. Why are you playing it too safe? You know, you know you're know, 10, 15 minutes away uh, and you need a goal. You need to take more risks. And, you t and you're playing it sideways and backwards, playing it back to your goalie. Take more risks. You know, get get something on target. You know, instead of just playing it sideways and backwards all the time, playing it back to your goalkeeper as well. So, I think at times, too many times, we were playing it too safe, and then City were then just really working hard uh, towards the end of the game. Really worked hard, but Tommy had a big chance right at the end, and we didn't take it. And then uh, we just. We had our opportunities and we couldn't get the equaliser and uh, we didn't look like scoring in the second half and uh, that was it and uh, City got uh, did the double and uh, wasn't good enough on United's behalf at the end of the day. Overall not meant to be, we didn't do enough to win, we fell short, it's disappointing and frustrating not to get the win. We had the opportunities, but it's not enough in the end. We just didn't do enough in the end, I don't think. I think in the second half in particular, we didn't look like we were going to score. You look at that game overall, City dominated the game. United were looking to counter-attack them in the game. In the second half particularly, Fort United were great offensively. I think for the whole overall majority of that game offensively, we were dreadful. I think we sort of lacked ideas at times as well going forward. We could have been better with that as well. We didn't look like we were going to score in the second half, and City did really well to work really hard to win the ball back. They won their duels, they won their second balls and they did well. They did what they needed to do at the end of the day. I think the pressure was a little bit off when De Bruyne went off injured. At the end of the day, it's just not good enough. We should have done better. I think we should have won this game, to be honest. Obviously, City had to get through us and they got through us. It wasn't our day, but we didn't turn up. We simply didn't turn up. It's a disappointing end to the season. I'm not going to go on a bit of a rant because I just think it's a disappointing end to the season. We should have done better in the game overall. We have to take out the chin and we've got to do better for next season. In parts of the game, we defended well. The two goals they scored was poor defending but offensively we simply didn't have ideas how to break them down especially in the second half when we needed an equaliser exactly that's the point I think obviously in the second half yet again going back to the second half I just think I think in the whole game to be honest I think as a perspective you look at that whole game I think there were some good passages of play at times yes we had our opportunities we had our chances in the game to sort of get a goal back but didn't take our chances Ganacho had a great chance Rashford had a great chance but Tomalei had a header as well I think it was a double header as well just didn't do enough at the same time you look at that game overall we didn't do enough in terms of being a little bit more 
tried to force the issue. There was times where we didn't get the right final pass, the right sort of final ball. There was always something that had lacked that second half as well. It's disappointing to be honest. Too many times in the game we were playing it sideways and backwards. We were playing it too safe, not taking any risks, not going forward where we should have been going forward. I think we did the best we could. Maybe not the right tactics. Maybe we should have been on the front foot from the get-go. Seems like this, you can't always go on the counter again. Sometimes you can trust it, but you have to defend well. And did we defend well? Maybe. Two goals that we conceded, they were shit as well. You've got to be better. You can't concede goals like that. We only have to learn from it. Ted Hart purposely made them watch those celebrations as well. Purposely show if you want to win a trophy, like the FA Cup, your mentality's got to change. And I think that's a, a message said. Hopefully you get to see your reaction for the players next season. That they're hungry for more, especially when we needed a goal in the second half. We didn't do enough. Yes, the opportunities were there, but we didn't take them at the end of the day. How do we bounce back from this? I think it's a chance now for the players just to go away now on the summer holidays, recharge and go again for next season. See how issues have got to be addressed in the summer as well in terms of the mentality going away from home as well. Obviously the mentality was really bad going away from home. I think maybe the mentality could have been an issue in this game as well. In finals like this you've always got to turn up to and we never turned up. Yeah again, we've been in these situations before a severe Europa League a couple of years ago we never turned up to that as well. I think it's just a disappointing end to the season but how do we Backed back from it. I think the players have just got to go away. Some of them are going on international, so obviously some of them can enjoy the international break. Some of them will be going on the holidays. I think they just got to recharge the batteries, look forward to the break, and then go back with a positive mindset, a winning mentality that they want to be hungry for more, want to win more trophies. Hungry than ever. The hard work will start in pre season. We have to be hungry for more. We've got to go again next season. We've got to bring more of a fighting spirit, a winning mentality to the squad. Definitely, I do see us winning the FA Cup, but we never turned up this game. We've got our pants pulled down, and we've got to be better next season. If we want to win more trophies than just a League Cup, we've got to be better at the end of the day. It's difficult now after a defeat, but we've played 62 games have gone a long way in these competitions overall can we see the progress this season am i satisfied i'm satisfied with the progress that's been made we've played those games the season just gone as well i think we won about about 40 odd games about 42 games that we won city only just won about one or two games more than us you can see the progress has been made from the team definitely for sure i think it's been a brilliant season for eric ten Hag's season got us to two finals won us a trophy obviously you can see that the progress that's definitely been made played loads of games this season as well the stats will speak for itself improved and we've got better overall satisfied with the season all along but it's difficult we have to take it out of the chin we've got to take it at the end of the day and we've got to come back stronger from this we've got to come back more than ever hungry for more hungry for more trophies more of a fighting spirit about ourselves and more of a winning mentality that we want to win games definitely fight at the top we're not far away now i think it's just going to take it season by season bring the players in the right personalities and the right characters the future looks bright done well this season we've won about 42 43 games the progress has been made we need more at the end of the day who is my man of the match to be honest i think it's a bit of a hard one to be honest after a defeat like this i think it's definitely hard to find a man of the match after particularly not after a great performance against city the fa cup final didn't really turn up at this game but i thought De Gea could have done better for both goals to be honest i think the first goal in particular couldn't do nothing about the first goal I thought wampasaka did all right did okay i think i thought varan a little off did good in times. Fed of Haaland as well. Luke Shaw played well, I thought. I thought Casemiro had a good game. I thought Fred was poor. I thought Fernandez was okay slash good at times. Ericsson was all right, not so great. Sancho was poor. Rashford did okay, but I think it's a tough one to be honest, I think. It's a real tough one. Maybe Bruno Fernandez for the goal and maybe Casemiro as well. I think it's a bit of a difficult one to find a man of the match after a defeat like that, especially when it didn't really turn up as well. Get into the goals now. First goal, Bruno steps up and scores a brilliant penalty for 1-1. Get into the stats there. Possession for Man City it was 60% and for Man United it was 40%. Goals for Man City it was 2 for Man United it was 1. Total shots for Man City it was 11 and for Man United it was 13. Pass on target for Man City it was 5 for Man United it was 3. Total passes for Man City it was 517 passes. For Man United it was 342 passes. Man City it was 87% and for Man United it was 78%. Get into the substitutions now. Ericsson went off for good action talking about Christian's performance. Often serene with the ball, but it was apparent early on he would not last that long and he could barely keep up when City kept the ball. Sancho went off a wagon, talking about Jalen's performance. Too respectful of the blue shirt. 
they once wore utterly phased again and played as though on borrowed time only lasted beyond the 70 minute mark United had an inadequate bench Lindelof went off of McTominay talking about Victor's performance hesitated with his first duel and it led to City scoring after 12 seconds struggled to get grips with Haaland all afternoon so yes guys that is it for the 22-23 FA Cup season guys obviously it's a disappointing end to the season we didn't turn up we didn't win the game not the way how we wanted to end it a loss to our neighbours not good enough to be honest with you we fell short wasn't our day maybe any other day we could have done better maybe on a better day we, we might have won the game we should have won the game we didn't we have to accept it massively have to take it on the chin we've got to go away for summer break now be ready for next season because it's going to be another big season ahead we need a big squad we need a fully fit squad for next season at the end of the day we didn't do enough to win we're not at the races we fell short it wasn't our day it wasn't good enough it's obviously devastating it's disappointing annoying and frustrating not to win this game we're not at our very best i thought we still played a good game it's one of those sort of games with man v boys it's not good enough we have to accept it that we're not good enough city did what they needed to do dominant display beat us by two goals to one didn't pick out our runners well we should have done give away two shit goals that we should have done better in defending was a bit questionable with those two goals disappointing annoying frustrating devastating as well heartbreak fell short not our day but to take it on the chin we have to learn from this and if we want to win more trophies we've got to be better next season we have to bring more of a fighting spirit a winning mentality next season and i think the players will be more than motivated next season to win more trophies the players have got to be ready for next season it's going to be a big season ahead we've got to be ready for next season we're going to bring the players in in the summer we've got to start making these signings as well do our work the hard work starts next week in pre-season we've got to be ready for next season not what we were after in the fa cup would have been nice to win the fa cup to do the dome stick double we've never done it before we will do one day. Our time will come. We've got to be ready for next season. Got to go for it yet again next season. The FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Let's see what happens next season. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel for my new. And I'll see you guys in the video in the next couple of days. And peace. <laughs>